Okay, thank you, Bill. All right, so tonight we're gonna to get started with uh, Zen Doodles. And I call them Zen Doodles because the name Zentangle is actually copyright. So I don't teach that. I just teach doodling. So anyway, um, the I did have a whole bunch of my patterns that I had done and that I had made into my own sheets. I put those on my resources page. So you guys should have had access to those. As far as I'm concerned, I've been doodling since I was a little kid, so um, I'm not going to copyright mine. So there you go. It's doodling as far as I'm concerned. Anyway, um, so today, now, you know what, actually Jody introduced this to me as, yep. as sort of an art form and she was doing it. And then of course she told me, showed me what she was doing. And then I just, everywhere I went, all I had was my sketchbook and I was just doodling and doodling and doodling and doodling. So um, but way behind me. Hmm? Yeah, I'd be sitting in a, an airport and I would watch people go by. And like if some lady went by with a really interesting pattern on her shirt, I'd be like, oh, I gotta write that down. Okay, can I do, like mouse? Oh, do you want the mouse here? There you go, Bill. Mouse. Anyway, so I started creating sort of books where I could just do doodles and stuff like that in it. And um, so I'm gonna show you some of these. If we get my hands in there. Oh, hands. They've had enough looking at my messy hair today. <laughs> okay, oh, it's good. That would be a copyright thing. Yeah, before they infringe me. Anyway, so this is one of my books here. And, you know, I just, it's, this is a, like, a, it's got thinner paper in it. So I can't do a lot of, um, I can't do a lot of different doodles. So I, I was just playing with it and doing different things and with different pens and stuff like that. So here's some of my little doodles that, I, that I've been working on. Um, then what I also did was um, I created, I mean, I do, I do them in all my sketchbooks, but uh, this one here is just for my doodles. And I don't know if you've seen my coloring pages. I actually created a coloring book with some of my doodles. And so some of them are um, a little bit more advanced than others. And some of them are just very simple. So this is, these are, these are all available to color. In fact, my dad actually downloaded my coloring book and he, he colored them all. So then he'd phone me and say, you, I just colored another one of your doodles. So anyway, so there's lots of things that you can do with them. So tonight, what I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you just how I got started with it, basically. And most of the time I was working with sort of a Mandela sort of style. And I used an old CD, which I also use for painting. But it's really easy just to have something like this. I can tuck it into a pocket on my, on the back of my sketchbook. And then if I'm going somewhere, I have it with me and I can just quickly draw it really easily. Now the pens that people use, most people when they're doing these doodles are using these micron pens. Ugh. And they're very popular for, for doodling. They are not my favorite pen. And the reason why is because the nib, oh my goodness. The nib is like a little felt tip and I must be heavy handed or something because as I use it after a while, the tip kind of bends and moves. So then when I go to put my mark down somewhere, the tip moves and doesn't put the mark where I want it. So I, I get frustrated with the microns. They don't do what I want to do. My favorite pen is the cheap pen, the Uniball Rollerball. And yes, sometimes the balls fall out of them. That's okay, it's just scratchy then, I don't care. Um, these, I, I just, I buy them by a box at, at Staples and they're really good. Um, I've actually used them and then used watercolor on my doodles afterwards and the, and the, and the ink doesn't um, run or anything like that. So I'm quite happy using these. Now, if I wanna step it up a bit, I will use, I have um, drafting pens they're called repetograph pens and you have to fill them with ink. And I have all different types because I used to do drafting. Um, if I'm seriously doing a bunch of doodles, I will use that, but then I have to find the right ink because most of that ink is not water 
safe. So anyway, so basically all I do is when I have something like this, I might just take my circle and get a pen that works. I just grab a handful because I use them so much. Okay. And I just draw a circle around my circle, my CD. And you could even do one in the middle. Take that little guy there too. You know, and you could do a couple of these on your, I'm just using my sketchbook. So you can use a sketchbook or you can use just a piece of paper or some card, you know, and it doesn't have to be a circle. It could be anything you want, right? You can take this template and make another circle within your circle to divide it up a little bit. I'm just making circular forms within my circle. So you can do something like that. And it just gives you sort of the guidelines to get you started to do different sort of patterns. The other thing you can use is a ruler, of course. Now, I don't know if I've talked to you guys about rulers. So this is a pretty old ruler for me, but um, this is a plastic ruler that has like a little beveled edge. When you're going to use a pen with a ruler like this, turn it upside down. You want that beveled edge not to be touching. You want it lifted from the paper. Otherwise your ink will creep underneath that ruler. So if you're using ink, turn that ruler over and then it won't creep on you. And you can do your lines without ink being. That's a great tip, Karen. You know, it's so good, right? We send a dollar ninety nine. I didn't know that one. Yeah. You didn't. <laughs> How much? Well, I think I talked filled? about that before when we were doing circle templates about you know using the circle templates have the little nubblies on them. Mm -hmm. So you just make sure that you do it the right way, and then you don't have that creep happening. Don't want creepy Zen doodles. No. Nope. Can I say something about doing it in the circle? Karen? Sure. I always found it was helpful because sometimes freeform um, Zen, Zen, do, Zen doodles um, mm -hmm. were, it was just, you didn't really know what to do with them, but by putting it in a circle, it contains it and you feel like you can finish it, you know? It's yeah, you can work on a nice. little bit at a time or, or something like that. It's the same thing where if you have, I don't know if I have it in this book. Look, there's a there's a note from Jody. Is there? Oh, okay. <laughs> Jody sends me funny things in the mail, and very often they end up in my sketchbook. I did not so, know that. Didn't you know that? I keep those things. I keep them all. They all go somewhere. Anyway, um, sometimes, uh, like I've made um, like little square templates for for my books too, where then I can just do like a whole bunch of squares on a page. And then I can zentangle in them, which I didn't do on those ones, but I did in some. Yeah. There, there's some I did. So I did, you know, just a bunch of squares, and then I practice some zentangles. What I love to do is when I'm doing this, is I love to color one of them, just so that you see what's going on, and then all of a sudden you have a colorful. Looks like a freeway, Dr. Seuss freeway. It does. <laughs> okay, so. Anyway, I've given you lots of ideas. Some of these ones, like these ones here, these examples, they're done on a grid, right? So I just did the square and then I did a grid and then I just created these, you know, doodles within them, okay? Some of them are pretty free form. Some of them are very simple, right? It's just, you know, lines, you know? And it, but it just to, to give you an idea when you're going through things, it's like, what can I do? It's like, oh, I kind of like that one. And, you, you know, you might want to try that, okay? One of the ones I'm going to show you is probably one of the most common Zen, Zen doodles that you find. Um, but it's kind of nice to teach it just because it's a bit unusual. So I'm going to do that. You know, maybe I'll do it on this side so that you can see. So what you're going to do is I'm just going to create sort of like a grid of dots. Okay. It's kind of like connect the dots. And I'm 
doing this fairly big so you guys can see what I'm doing, okay? And once you create those dots, what you're gonna do is you're gonna create a line connecting the dots. But what you have to remember is you're gonna go, you're gonna start under the first one and go over the top one. So I'm gonna do that right now, under and over, okay? And then do the same thing again, under and over, under and over, under and over. Do the same thing on this line, under and over under and over and over and over and do it on all three of these lines and over okay so now i've got three waves basically on my page then what i'm going to do is i'm going to turn my book because it's easier for me to do that way i'm going to do the same thing again under and over, under and over. Um. See the cool little pattern you're getting? Oops, I just messed that one up. Under and over, under and over. Missed that dot. Under and over. It's so cool. Yeah, it's just really cool how it comes together. And it's like, you, you know, if you were going to try and draw that on your own, it would be tough to do. But knowing sort of the trick behind it makes it a little bit different. At the same time, you could do this. You could do the same under and over in diagonal. Right. So then you have, it starts to become kind of a little bit more complex design. And whether you decide you want to add to it from there, it's up to you. So this is probably, this one, this one is probably one of the most recognizable doodle that I see done. And it's just kind of cool to see how it is done. And it's a good one. It's a sort of a simple one to get started with. And you get a really good result. Even if you mess up with it a little bit. Yeah, I mean, yours are really even, Karen. Um, like even as I tried it, mine, is, mine are pretty wonky, but, but yeah. it's still fun. But the other thing you can do is you can also do this. So say I do this, I can do it the same thing with the dots. and they're not in any order. Yeah. And I'm gonna go under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over. Oh, this one's gonna be under, over, ugh. under, <laughs> over. Okay, so now that looks wonky, right? But look at this. If I take those lines and I, those dots, and I just line them up with my line underneath, now I've got Again, hello. a little mm -hmm. ribbon curl. Isn't that cool? That is cool. You know, and then you can do, you know, then you just keep adding to it, right? It's like, okay, well, then I'm going to do this. I don't know. There's just, I mean, you can color these, you know, and you could have the shading so that it's darker around those lines and then lighter in the middle and it'll look like a like an undulating ribbon that's on the side of something or, or a fringe or something like that. So kind of cool. So sometimes, you know, if and if you're looking through Pinterest and stuff like that, I'm sure there's lots of videos on how to do certain things. Um, any of these ones that I've done here, I, I hopefully I would be able to, you know, emulate what I've done. This one's actually quite easy and it's very similar. So I'm gonna do that one in here. So with this one, all I'm doing is I'm gonna make some lines and they don't have to be perfect. Remember, it's just a sketchbook or
Okay, so I've made some lines there um, for that one. And now all I'm doing is I'm going to circular, circularize. <laughs> I just made up that word. Just sort of make those corners not pointy. And that's just me sort of drawing a circle in each of those shapes and then coloring it in. And then you sort of get that web sort of feel. Well, not really. I guess it is sort of webby. It's not Spider-Man. And sometimes when you're doing um, the, the doodles, it is nice to have black. If it's all just pencil drawings, it's very nice, but the black helps, you know, sort of create that little bit of interest. And I'm doing this, I'm trying to do it really quickly so that you're not having just to sit here and watch me draw. <laughs> it's a bit messy. But you know, I can always go back over it and sort of fix it up again or add to it or color it. Some people find this very meditative to do, Karen, I think. I know. Yeah, actually, I had a, a friend of mine was taking my class one time and she said, this is like, this is like art therapy because it's just, you know, you're, you're just sitting here and you're doodling basically. And it's kind of, it can, I mean, that's why they call it Zen Tangle or Zen Doodles because it can be quite calming and good to do. You know, when I was working downtown, I wish that I knew then what I know now about doodling. But I find that when you're doodling, if you're doodling in a meeting, you're probably listening better than if you were sitting there just watching people talk in the meeting. Hmm. Because your mind is not, I mean, you, you can be listening to what's going on in the meeting instead of just daydreaming because you're a little bit more focused, so. Uh, and I used to, you know, when I would sit in my art group and I would be doodling in my book and people were like, you're not paying attention. And I'm like, you know, I'm probably paying better attention than they are because I'm, I'm listening better because I'm doodling. You, you were just distracting them. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> what is she doing over there? <laughs> so anyway, so that's, you know, just really quickly, that's one of my little areas on my circle. And I mean, you can do lots of different things. I one of the things I love to do is, you know, those, those papers that we were um, painting that, you know, you, you might have done some extra pieces of paper that you painted that you're not sure what to do with. I'm going to show you what you can do with some of those. They're kind of neat. So there's one little spot on my page. Let me grab a piece of this, something that's been painted. All mine. I probably took them upstairs. I'm in the process of spray painting um, a commission. So a lot of my papers I took upstairs to help block the spray paint. But now I didn't tell you to bring any of this kind of stuff to tonight's class, but you could do something like this. Sometimes, just gonna. Cut 
at this a little bit differently. Mm -hmm. So sometimes you can take, I'm not liking how that's turning out. Let me try something else. Oh, that's it. Mm -hmm. So you can take a piece of your painted whatever, mm -hmm. glue it in place, which if you have your handy glue stick handy, like I always seem to. I'm just going to glue that in place there. And then you can sort of then tangle around it or then doodle around it. And it's kind of fun because you've got this little bit of color in there. What do you think, Fee? <clears throat> and sometimes, you know, I just free form, you know, I just sort of, mm -hmm. you know, I have my templates and the things that I do, but sometimes I just, it depends on what I've got going. There is no problem with the fire extinguisher. Yes, I, I understand. Just, just in case you're wondering. <laughs> it sounds like it sounds like a fire extinguisher. It does, doesn't it? That's with its not the extinguisher, but the fire the, the, alarm. The oh, the alarm. Low battery. <laughs> low battery <laughs> signal. <laughs> Karen, do you have um like white um a, like a white ink pen that you could say? Do you ever do because that that piece of um, painted there is dark to continue that in white or? Oh, you could. That would be really cool. Like a or like a silver or something like that. Yeah, like you could probably do that with the you know you get those jelly rolls and stuff like that. The jelly roll pens and stuff like that you can probably do a different color going on to that color and that would be kind of neat you know i i've had so much fun doing these and then i sometimes i do um sometimes i'll work back into them with watercolor paint which i think we'll do one time is do some Zen tangles and then our Zen doodles and then uh, work back in with watercolor because that can be really, really fun. Yeah. Of course, you can also work back in with pencil crayon or other or just pen or or with pen or with pencil. Hey, with which? The with just pencil and do the shading so that you yeah. can do a you could do like almost a gray shade or yeah, shadows. Mm -hmm. So. So, I mean, with this little part that I'm doing here, yeah, I've got these sort of swirly lines and stuff like that, but I have a different pen. Sometimes if I want to make it dark, you know, it's easier just grabbing a Sharpie that works. How's that working for you? It, well, you know, it's hard for me to open up my Sharpie bin because I've got so many in there. <laughs> <It's just> like... <laughs> Sharpies are my, are my go-to. So adding that black can really sort of make it pump it up a little bit. 
make it less just a line drawing, right? Right. And if I'm going to do that color there, it kind of counterbalances the darkness of that color by adding some other darkness in there. Where else do I want it? Right here. There. That's not looking too bad. So there's, and then, so like I'm just doing this in my sketchbook right now, but there's other applications you can do this with. I mean, you could take this and do it as a card. Um, I've done it so that it looks like almost like I've made it look like a window and then put it on a card. Um, I do animals sometimes with the, um, there's one in my book. Here's my book again. Oh. One of my favorites is my chicken. Gotta find them. Check. My check it. I don't think he's in this book. Dang it. He's in a different book. Oh well, I have an owl in this one. Mm. So I feel like yeah. I'm upside down to you guys tonight. I am, but that's okay. So here, there, there's the owl. Anyway, mm -hmm. you can play. The other thing I've done with them are things like this. Mm -hmm. So this is a board. That I it's not done. It's been sitting here for a couple of years like this. <laughs> and then the latest one that I'm working on right now, and it'll probably go. I think I have a show coming up in. Um, when is that? April. Excuse me. So I'm working on this piece for April. Oh, wow. So this is my, I've been working on this for a while now. Anyway, so it's just painted. I've done these edges. I need to fix it a little bit. And then I'm just doing the back side now. I just got my base painting on there. Mm. So, yeah. That looks great. Oh, it, mm. it's on the sides. Yes, it has. I, I started putting it on the sides. So I started doing that's one side and then this is the other side so far. And then the back, I'll do the back. Anyway, so that'll go in my show coming up. Is it gonna be a working guitar, Karen? Nope. Oh, thank you for the kiss. Bless. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> it has no neck. <laughs> so. I did Karen, do a can work. I tell, hmm? Can I tell them something else that you Zentangle painted? Sure. The handle on a plunger. Oh, that's good. <laughs> My mother. <laughs> it looks great for her, for her mom. I wish I wish when, I wish I had some of yours for my B and B for both suites. I've often thought I wish I had my 
plungers that I have there. As Wait, Karen. Do you have those ones with the big rubber things? Oh yeah, in every bathroom. Well, we can just, man, I just threw out two handles. I'll go get them out of the garbage and I'll paint them up for you. There you go. Because you can buy those handles and I, I had actually a couple of them and I, I don't know how good they are, but I just put them in my, uh, <laughs> put them in the fire pit <laughs> so that when we had a fire this summer, they would go. <laughs> hey, I'll go get them out. <laughs> uh, I can, I'll, I'll bring handles. How about that? Well, no, don't bring handles. I'll just, I'll see if these ones, these ones I'll check and see if they're not warped or anything, then maybe I'll just paint them up for you. Okay. You need them Excellent. Maybe. So, so zangles can happen anywhere then, Nakir. Yep. I'm going to do my tree this summer. What do you mean? I have a tree in my yard that died. And so I, over the years, I, uh, well, I took all the branches off and debarked the branches and I use them for um, teaching. When I was doing my art classes, we do painted stick. <laughs> <laughs> One of the art projects, painted stick. Anyway. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it could be a talking awesome. stick. I think I have yeah, it could be, right? Yeah. yeah. This one's not done yet, but anyway, so painted stick is one of my projects that I would do with, with kids. And uh, anyway, um, so I took all the branches off, debarked them, used all the sticks for painted stick. And so what I have in my yard is the trunk of the tree just going up with no bark on it. And it's been painted for a couple of years. <laughs> I just haven't done the zen tangling on it or zen doodling on it. So Maybe this summer I'll get out there and do it. It's it's black and white and orange and pink and blue. For a project for us, we can do talking sticks or magic wands. Yes. You guys, you guys would have to find your own sticks though. BYOS. You know, people who want to do plunge. <laughs> People who are in, in Calgary are lucky because you know what? If you come see me at Michael's, I might have some of the supplies for you guys. <laughs> I'll just bring some sticks. It wouldn't be the first time people in the frame shop are like, Karen has the weirdest stuff. She has people dropping off things and picking up weird things. <laughs> That's okay. Because, you know, I, I scrounged all this stuff for teaching art classes, and then I couldn't teach art classes, so. Anyway. Got a stick. <laughs> you got, you got, <laughs> see, she's oh. got a stick. I got <laughs> a stick. I just need to peel it. That's right. See? Well, and that's, you know, that's one, one of the other projects I wanted to do was the, uh, the shakers, right? And, Leslie, you've done those. We did those in class, the uh, paper mache well, shakers. <laughs> Yeah, they're fun. Yeah, with light with old light bulbs. Yeah, old dead light bulbs. Anyways. Yeah, yeah, old dead light okay. bulbs. Karen, I have lots of the Christmas light bulbs, like those big colored ones. If you want some of those, I actually have some too. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I don't want mine anymore. Karen's no, I didn't want mine either, and I had a whole string of them that weren't working very well, so I pulled all the light bulbs off, and we threw out the string, but I kept all the light bulbs, of course. Oh, I can do that for you. <laughs> I think Erin's trying to declutter. I am Brenda. trying to declutter. She's not very good at it. <laughs> Me too, though. <laughs> Brenda's trying to. I'll bring all my stuff to your place. and. <laughs> But then you can take it to Michael's and disperse it to yeah. everybody. Yeah, and then right? you guys can come pick it all up and then I won't have as much stuff. <laughs> right, there. oh, problem solved. Exactly. Actually, I had, a, I had a, a teacher show up today or this week and she took a whole bunch of my cut pieces of mat board for her class. And I'm like, yes. I said, you, sh you should check out what else I do because if you need things for your class, I have light bulbs. <laughs> She might not be very happy about getting all my junk, but I am. Bill would be. Hey, you peanut gallery. Are you hoping to teach again? I'm actually kind of enjoying this. <laughs> I was wondering. 
Well, you know, and, I, and Leslie knows this, like when I was teaching um, the classes that I was teaching, I was trying to teach um, kind of like family, kids and parent classes. Yep. And I thought it was such a great idea because then the parents could work along with their kids. And in some cases it worked really well, but in lots of the cases, the parents just didn't want to be there for the class. So they would just drop their kid off. I know, which is fine, but sometimes there's, there's some kids that are really great at, you know, you give them a project and they would just go with it. Like Chloe, you know, Chloe's like, like totally doing this stuff, you know, and she's right into it, but other kids, they do it really quickly. And then they start dancing or doing cartwheels and, or, or throwing paint around or yeah. So, or they need a lot of direction, you know, where you've got to stay on them and then yeah that's yeah. what the parent is should stay yeah. for yeah so things like like one of the things that we did at the beginning of every class was i had everybody sew their own sketchbook that was and fun yeah it was great to be able to make your own sketchbook and it was small and you could fill it and, and yeah. feel some sense of accomplishment for filling it but it was hard for me to teach when i had if i had like five or six kids that didn't have a parent to help them Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's hard for me to, to sort of run around and help them sew it. So, so I don't know about the teacher. It can be that way for grown ups too. I've taught lots of craft classes or quilting classes and just not everyone is crafty and some people need tons of supervision. That's right. And I, and I don't mind that, you know, I just, I, I was, I was struggling a little bit with the kids sometimes, but, uh, and then they, then the place what I was teaching they went because COVID hit and we had to cancel all the classes. And then when, when we, when the restrictions were lifted last year, they wanted me to teach again, but they changed the day that they wanted me to teach. And I was like, well, oh. that doesn't work for me. And so it was oh. a conflict. Oh, and that was a, give me back my day. So yeah, I, said, I think we're, I think we're good. Mm. But I like this. <laughs> I like this a lot. <laughs> As I sit here talking and I'm not doing any doodling because I'm talking. We're just like a few more people. So tell your friends. Yeah, we want more people though. So, oh, I was going to show you a really cool tool that I have. And Bill was looking for it on the, um, on Amazon before we started. And it's another, it's a, the one you found is really expensive. I can't, 32 bucks. it's 32 bucks. I, I can't believe I would have spent that much on this, but maybe I did. Anyway, this is just like, oh, it's, it's like a spirograph, but for making circles and it's got ball bearings in it and it is neat. So it has different size holes for different types of pens. So some pens are, um, it has like a 0.1 millimeter and a 0.35 millimeter and a 0.5 0.5 millimeter. So it depends on if you're using a pen or a pencil, but wow. Oh, cool. <laughs> so, sometimes you just find a tool and it's like, that is the coolest thing ever. And where that did is, you find that? That's fantastic. It, I don't know where I got it from. And it we tried look. looking it up on the internet and he found some circle ruler. Yeah, it's called oh. a circle ruler by Orbis and he couldn't find it on there. Okay. So by Helix. He found one by Helix at 32, bucks. at 32 bucks. But I mean, I use it for I mean, I've got, this thing is full of paint and stuff like that too, because I use my paints, you know, with that, that nice little tool that I use for doing my white lines. I can make circles with this, with that thing. But I can also make circles with cookie cutters, right? And CDs and a multitude of things. But this is kind of nice because then you can just sort of, Pop hands. No, not pop hands. They got that weird bottom. Can't use pop hands. No, because then they drip all over your stuff. 
There's always a little bit of pop in the bottom of a pop can. Can't seem to get it all out. Anyway, so yeah, you can create all sorts of different things and just doodle. And then when somebody walks by you and they have a really cool shirt on, get them to stop so you can write, you know, write down <laughs> what their shirt looks like. <laughs> you're taking, you're facing after people with your iPhone taking pictures of, the, <laughs> taking, of their butt. pictures of their skirts and shirts. And, <laughs> what are you doing? I'm gonna zen doodle you. <laughs> so how's how's everybody doing? Is everybody doodling? You guys all look so busy. Oh, we are. I am. I am. That's good. I am. No, you're not. You're playing a game on your iPad. Just a guy. You know, this reminded me a little bit of a potter that I became, I just um, recently became aware of. She, um, she's in Fernie, BC. Her name is Sarah Pike. And she has incised, um, like stamped designs, carved all these stamps, but they remind me a little bit of, I mean, they're a little more, um, I suppose, Arabic, but um, just gorgeous, full of design, you know, just beautiful um, cups and mugs. So anyone wants to look her up, Sarah Pike is her name. She actually went to Calgary at North Mount Pleasant uh, for uh, when she was first starting out. I think she went to the College of Art as well. But, um, right now her studio is in, in Fernie. But um, take a look at her work because there's some kind of connections to Zen doodling in her design. Mm -hmm. I mean, I she didn't talk about Zen doodles or anything, but just as I'm doing this, I'm reminded of her, her pieces. Mm -hmm. So with that in mind, you could actually do some of this, like carve, I suppose, make, make steps using um, a, a Zen doodle design. Like, you know, Karen, how you had those stamps, whether you did them in um, like a, the Mars, Stettler Mars um, erasers. Mm -hmm. you, could, you could do that with some Zentangle. Zen Doodle there, sorry. Designs. Yeah, you could. Yeah, you could. Um, Have you ever done that? Well, I've done, yeah, there's so many ideas for making stamps for clay. Mm -hmm. Like you can even use like really beautiful buttons, right? Yeah. Can make you know, re a really nice stamp for clay or, and I have these little round things that are kind of like those erasers. And I'll get you, you can have a couple when you come Jody, cause they're really cool to carve and then you could use them as a stamp in your clay. Right. And, and other people, they can do uh, some, can, have you, with ink, I guess, you know, or with stamp pads, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, and one of the things that, I'd love to show you is, is, I mean, we're going to be working on some stamps and some printing things too, some mono prints and stuff like that. And I, I'm going to show you how I can carve stamps and they're so much fun. I just can't stop making them. So that's an upcoming class for this for here. Yeah. It is now. Oh I yeah. Can't. I went through the things that I do and I have all sorts of things planned for you guys. Now, some of the things that I have, some of the tools that I have, you may not want to get, um, but I'm gonna play with them and show you what, what they do or what you can do with them. Some of them are maybe a bit outdated, but one of the other things that I have, and I don't know when I'm gonna fit this in, is I, I bought myself a Cricut. Oh my, you didn't. Yeah. 
I bought it about six months ago, eight oh, months no, ago, no, a year ago. Yeah, a year. <laughs> Is it opened up yet? Just recently. <laughs> Just about two months ago. <laughs> I think <laughs> I, as far as you, as far as you got. <laughs> Pretty much. That's hilarious. I think it's more than eight months ago because I was there to see you in June <laughs> and you'd had it for like six months then, I think. I know. And I'm just like, it's so, so hard because there's all these crafts that people do with these crickets. And it's like, oh, we, you could design your own mug. And it's like, well, that's not really what I do. But so then I'm trying to figure out what I can do with it. And so my, my, my biggest achievement is, is, I've made stencils. <laughs> hey, oh, that's, that's a probably a perfect of, stencil maker for you. It's a great stencil yeah. maker, right? Exactly. That's that's when you where you're at. Well, I did that, and that's and that's how I got these letters. Actually, these the letters on the guitar. Oh, yeah. I did not oh. paint those. That's that's um, I I adhered them on from, and it's just paper. Oh, cool. But isn't that cool, right? Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Anyway, okay, what are you doing, Fee? So I would like to have some times where I can show you guys this cricket, but I also feel kind of stupid because it's <laughs> sitting there and I haven't done anything with it. Does anybody else in this group have a cricket? No, I've looked at it, but I, I, it's just another thing I don't need. I know. <laughs> but that's yeah. just me. I, I, have, I have this friend you know, and she keeps telling me one thing in, one thing out. Oh, do you know what? Do you know her? that be? I wonder. <laughs> <laughs> Such pressure. Such pressure. So, you know, what we could do, though, anybody that lives in Calgary, we could Take go over to Karen's it. and rent her crime cricket she could teach us how and we could pay her and she would redeem the cost of having purchased the cricket okay. pay her i, I could teach you you might have to teach me <laughs> <laughs> well we can figure it out together over a coffee and and hey, rent, your, awesome. time. rent your time that is very true right because you know what restrictions are coming off so oh yeah yeah so that would be great. Yeah. And, you know, even like if you had a project that we could problem solve it and see how this, see how this little machine works. Well, even just creating some stencils, you know, have a, if we kind of know the parameters of the thing, yeah. see what kind of stencil we can get out of it. Yeah. No, I've done some. Did I show them to you? I think I did. And you're yeah. hot to trot on the mate. Yeah, I, I like them, but they, yeah, it's, it's, ah. <laughs> yeah, I just, you know, the problem, I think the problem is, is that um, I like to draw and I don't necessarily like to draw on the computer, right? And trying to get them out of my sketchbook and into um, the cricket is a, you just scan them. Well, I can scan them, but then then I've got to make sure that all my lines are right and 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 true. And then mm -hmm. some of the some of the ones that I was working on, I was working on some some stencils that have that are like triangular, right? So then I want the triangles perfect. Huh. <laughs> so then I'm do then I'm doing a drawing on the cricket sort of drawing board. Kind of made this one up as I'm going along. I don't know that it's actually real. Does it matter if it ends up being, um, uh, what do you call that, uh, symmetrical? No. Okay, good. It doesn't have to be. Okay. In fact, mine are not. Okay. All right, that I'm makes just, sense. Again, I'm better. just sort of mucking about here. You All know, righty. Like I feel better already. Really. And look, I... I Somehow I drew a line in this one. I don't know. I must have. Where? I was, I was talking and I went, <laughs> Oh. <laughs> okay. It's like, great. Now I got to make a doodle out of it. A schwin? Is that what you did? You schwin? I went schwin. Oh. Right there. 
Okay. That's the technical word. I apparently. Okay. That word you can patent, Karen. Schwen. Schwen. <laughs> okay, I'm going to patent Schwen. it and then I can make a million bucks. Schwen. There you go. A million. Okay, we're getting close to our hour. Um, I'm going to say. went fast. It. Yeah. See, it goes fast when you're just doodling when and you're just talking and chatting about things. I can't remember what I wrote down that we were going to do next week, so it's a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do a show and with Cal. Oh, Matt's with that moist thing. Oh, somebody just pooped on me. Oh, crap. We were doing so night crap, literally. Literally, yeah. Ah, oh, I hate it when you're doodling. Somebody poops on you. Oh well, it's my fault. I should have known. There's been an appropriate amount of time that I should have been looking for it. Oh, you're fine. You know, appropriate amount of time. I've never yeah, that no fan. Well, heaven only knows. It's so probably. Oh God, it's all over my sketchbook. Jesus, <laughs> Pete. I, I think it's supposed to be a sign of good luck, isn't it? Is it? When a bird poops on That's if it hits your head. Oh, okay. On your head. <laughs> I don't know about all over yourself. I don't, I could have it all over me. I don't know. Do you want to show, can we show and tell? Because I'm kind of yeah, excited let's do that. what I did. What color? Is it white or is it colorful? Are you talking about my poo? My yeah. Bird, my bird, oh. Green? <laughs> Wow, you got quite a lot done, Kelly. Thank you. you can work work that poo right into a piece of artwork. You know? oh, gee, thank you so much. I kind of worked it into my hands here on the page and such. Let it dry. You'll get a no. great texture. No, you're, I have you're, just you're doing a little bit. Get that picture in there. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Donna's, oh. Donna's got a green ah. screen, so she's got to figure out how to get it past the green screen. <laughs> Oh my gosh, look at that. Yes, you're invisible. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. You have to put it in front of your we body. We like where maybe? you are. It looks very lovely. It does. <laughs> in that beautiful <laughs> infinity pool. Yeah, oh, that's cool. Cool. oh, I like the way oh, it's like frilly on the outside. Purple colors. That's nice. Oh, very nice. Wow, look at that. Oh my goodness. Very that's, cool. Like, look at Look at Elizabeth and all the darkness she has in hers. Like that. Right, I'm trying really to hold good, Elizabeth. Right? Yeah. Elizabeth. Hold on. Okay, Elizabeth, hold yours up again. Oh wow. Oh, this can't. because oh. this is this is actually you remember my sunflower? I was gonna say yes. yeah. this is my sunflower. And yeah. so I'm doing these dark because these are shadows. Ah, and very then nice. I'll do the sunlit parts lighter. You got that sunflower on the brain there. You well, do. I do. I've been working on the sunflower like for a week and a half. <laughs> That's great. Very nice. Oh, Leslie. Very good. Oh, very good. Oh, uh, some of them are just yeah, she's doing hers in pencil first. <laughs> of course she does. Some, some of, of course. Them. So I was looking at your lovely templates and I put little check marks next to one <laughs> that I try. And I'm trying to figure out how to do this guy right here. Oh, so, yeah. so trying to figure them out. They go in pencil. And then I did the one with the little buds. Oh, my God. I'm in love with the buds. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. I don't know if you can see mine, Karen. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that looks, that looks nice. Ooh. Oh, I like that dark. There. I like the one, the one on the bottom that has shading in it. Yeah. yeah, that looks really yeah. good. I like this that. This is another one I was working on before with the colored paper that I'd worked on. Oh, Ooh. my goodness. Wow. wow. This is one of the ones I painted in Karen's in what, your class. Yeah. Oh. oh, that's good. Yeah. Brenda, did you hold yours up or are you being shy? <laughs> She's so terrifying. She's, She's just shaking off. your head. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I'm just listening. I'll okay. do one later <laughs> on. <laughs> no pressure. No pressure. Jody, Jody, did you rerun. show yours? I didn't see yours. Jody. No, I didn't. Um, uh, here, just, here's this. I, um, I only got so far. <gasps> okay. Well, that's good. Though. Oh, that's, cool. that's cool. Yeah. These are like that's little great. carrots, I think. 
Like I got hat. little carrots growing. You do have carrots growing. Oh, that's very cool. Spencer, did you do one? I tried. I, uh, <laughs> it seemed I bit off, I bit off too much, and I, I was trying a couple of different kinds of patterns to see what might work. Yeah. Oh, I, was, nice. I was tinkering around with a couple of things. That's you know, what you do is you tinker. I did better with the uh, making a medallion last time, last week. This is kind of what I came up with from last week. I did a... Oh, oh look at oh. that. Oh. I swirled paint in it. It came out okay. Oh, that turned wow. out really nice. Yeah, I like that. That's well, that's a nice idea, idea, right? Yeah. I have, if I'm going to do doodle, I have to do a smaller thing. I tried to do too much. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, right. yeah that's, that's a nice part about containing it in a circle. Yeah. yeah. I did four like square. Four, I had like four circles going. That was my problem. <laughs> yeah. Bit off more than you could chew. Right. <laughs> so, okay. Yeah. All right. What about Chloe? Oh, you oh, had some nice little circles yeah, in the she middle. looked like she was going to end up whoa with like beautiful petals. Wow. Yeah. Nice colors. Oh, nice. Oh, I love that it's nice got color in it. Yeah. That's good. Good job, girl. I had yeah. I had to do the dishes, so I didn't get much done. But oh, look at that. Awesome. Mom, oh, that looks great. Good, though. You guys nice are going. so colorful. <laughs> yeah. And you could do these on translucent paper, eh, Karen? And then they could, you could hang them up. I was just thinking of that because of Chloe's, because hers almost looks like, you know, something that you would hang yeah. in a window. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. this show, I don't know if it'll work on my phone, but I've got a picture of what Chloe did last week because we put them up on her wall. Let's see if this shows for you guys. Oh, oh, cool. Right on the nice. wall. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, we just tacked them right to the wall in her bedroom. Oh, that's cool. This came out really good. <laughs> You're very good job, prolific. Girl. <laughs> They're like little gems. That. That's a great idea. Little jewels. Mm -hmm. I've got to hang mine a little bit longer. Mine's, you know, I want to hang it in the window and I put my ribbon on it and it's way up high. <laughs> I, uh, I like wasn't thinking about that. So yeah. yeah. A little bit I still longer. have to cut the glue off the, or the Mod Podge off of mine. I know, me too. I have a little bit more work to do on mine. So yeah. That's I might right. try I again once I morning. now that I have a shaker for my sprinkles. That's okay. right. Now did everybody get up in the morning and go look at their stuff the next yes. day? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> me too. All right. Okay, well, Spencer was a little Spencer was a little impatient with his. Why? It took a couple of days. Well, it took a couple of days longer to dry than yes. we were anticipating. Me too. That's yeah. why he ended up doing another one. Yeah. I, I think I think the original one met with disaster. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to be patient. I know. It's like it's it so is exciting. really hard. Okay, Fee. So. It is very hard. Yeah. Well, this is a I lot was of fun, so disappointed Karen. when I came down and it wasn't all dry. It was like, ah, <laughs> to, to move it on my wax paper to another spot and then kept checking it the next day. And it was like, ah, oh, it's still not totally dry. There was a little yeah. bit in the center a still. In the center still, yeah. But now yeah. we know. That's true. I got to clean up. I'll okay. I'll <laughs> <Sorry. I'd> say. <laughs> All right. That's a really good idea. Right. See you later. Okay. Well, thank uh, you guys. I'll see you next week. I thank can't you. remember what we're doing, but I'll, I'll let you know. Okay. And here comes Nessie. She's got a tail here. <laughs> Thanks, Karen. All right. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye, Bye. Bye Chloe.